Ever wondered why many men find themselves drawn to narcissistic women? It's a curious phenomenon that seems almost universal yet seldom discussed in depth. Today, let's peel back the layers of this intriguing attraction. At first glance, the allure of narcissistic women might seem perplexing to some. However, it's the radiant confidence and undeniable charm that often first catches the eye. These women can appear irresistibly magnetic, embodying a persona that promises excitement and challenge. It's this initial sparkle that can captivate and enthrall. But what is it about this allure that draws men in so powerfully? Is it the thrill of the chase? The appeal of someone who seems so self-assured or perhaps something deeper within the psychological makeup of relationships? This attraction goes beyond mere surface-level charm and taps into complex dynamics of human behavior and interaction. To understand this enigma, we dive into the intricate dance of psychology and desire. First, what exactly do we mean by narcissism? At its core, narcissism is a psychological condition characterized by several distinct traits. These include an inflated sense of one's own importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, coupled with a marked lack of empathy for others. Let's delve a bit deeper. A person with narcissistic tendencies often displays a grandiose sense of self. They perceive themselves as superior, unique or special, and expect others to recognize them as such, even without commensurate achievements. This grandiosity isn't just a robust self-esteem, it's an unrealistic view of one's capabilities and identity. Furthermore, despite their apparent confidence, narcissists have a fragile self-esteem. They are highly sensitive to criticism and can lash out or withdraw in response. This sensitivity contrasts sharply with their outward persona, which often exudes confidence and a strong personality, a facade that can be quite magnetic and misleading at first glance. Armed with this definition, the allure begins to take on a new dimension. Robert Greene often discusses the power dynamics in relationships. In his exploration of seduction, Green illuminates how certain narcissistic traits can be magnetically attractive. Narcissism, often characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance and a craving for admiration, aligns surprisingly well with Green's principles of seduction. At the heart of this allure is the narcissist's confidence, which can appear both commanding and enchanting. They often project a persona of extreme self-assurance and invulnerability, which can be highly attractive to others. This display of confidence can trigger a psychological response in people, drawing them towards what they perceive as strength and stability. Green suggests that narcissists are adept at playing the seduction game. They are masters of attention, using their charisma to captivate and hold the gaze of an admirer. This ability to command attention is a powerful seductive tool it's a game of psychological push and pull. The narcissist offers just enough to intrigue and entice while also maintaining enough distance and mystery to keep individuals hooked. Moreover, the narcissistic trait of being able to manipulate emotions plays into Green's concept of power. They know how to evoke desire, admiration and sometimes even dependency. This emotional manipulation becomes a form of psychological control, binding others to them in a complex web of attraction and power. It's this intoxicating mix of danger and promise that hooks one's interest. But why do men specifically find themselves ensnared? The answer lies deep within the labyrinth of the human psyche. The psychological dynamics at play are as complex as they are compelling. Firstly, there's the desire for validation. This craving isn't merely about feeling loved or appreciated, it's a deeper, more primal need to be acknowledged and admired. Narcissistic individuals with their often charismatic and confident demeanor appear to offer this in spades, at least initially. They project an image of someone who not only has high self-esteem but also seems capable of bestowing attention that feels uniquely discerning and rewarding. Then there's the excitement of the challenge. Narcissistic personalities are like puzzles wrapped in enigmas, drawing others into their intricate and often unpredictable emotional landscapes. For some men, this unpredictability translates into a thrilling, never-ending game where each interaction promises new rules and rewards. It's a dynamic that can be intensely stimulating and hard to step away from. Moreover, the allure of fixing someone plays a significant role. Many men are drawn to the idea that they can be the hero, the one to save a narcissistic partner from themselves. This not only feeds into a sense of purpose and importance, but also creates a bond that is difficult to break, despite the toxicity that might be brewing beneath the surface. 
So the attraction often lies not just in the person, but in the psychological drama they promise. This cocktail of validation, challenge, and the savior complex forms a potent mix that can keep men returning time and again to a relationship that is as bewitching as it is fraught. What does this say about one's self-esteem? Delving into the depths of attraction, especially in the context laid out by Robert Greene, it's impossible to overlook the significant role of self-esteem. It acts almost like a magnet, drawing people towards certain personalities. When self-esteem is on the lower side, individuals often find themselves more vulnerable to the allure of someone with narcissistic traits. These traits, dazzling and often overwhelming, can appear as a beacon of confidence and assurance. For someone grappling with self-doubt, this can seem irresistibly attractive. Green suggests that this vulnerability is not merely about the superficial charm of the narcissist, but reflects a deeper internal struggle of the individual. The narcissistic allure exploits this gap, where the promise of validation and attention feels like a soothing balm to bruised self-regard. In essence, the attraction to a narcissistic individual often mirrors an unmet need within oneself, a need for affirmation and self-worth. Thus, it's not only about the attraction to the other, but also about what it reflects within oneself. What happens when the charm fades? As the allure of a narcissistic relationship wanes, the consequences start to surface, revealing a much less glamorous reality. Often those entangled in such relationships find themselves emotionally drained. The constant demands for attention and admiration from a narcissistic partner can leave one feeling depleted, a mere shadow of their former self. Moreover, there's a profound sense of lost personal identity. In striving to meet the endless needs of their partner, individuals often neglect their own desires and ambitions. They lose touch with who they were before the relationship, their personal goals and passions pushed to the sidelines. Robert Greene highlights the importance of recognizing these dynamics. Understanding how and why one might find themselves in this toxic cycle is crucial. It's about seeing the signs early and acknowledging the emotional cost of staying in such relationships. Recognizing these patterns is the first step towards healthier relationships. Recognizing and addressing them can lead to significant personal growth and the reclaiming of one's identity. In summary, the allure of narcissistic women can be a complex web of intrigue and self-discovery. Today, we've delved deep into what makes these relationships so compelling, yet often perplexing. We began by defining narcissism not merely as self-love, but as a multifaceted psychological pattern where self-image is both inflated and fragile. We then explored the seductive game, where narcissistic behaviors create a magnetic yet deceptive allure. The psychological dynamics discussed revealed how these relationships are not just about attraction, but about deeply ingrained human behaviors and needs. Particularly, we examined how self-esteem plays a pivotal role, acting as both a catalyst and a casualty in these interactions. Robert Greene's insights provided us a lens to view the often unseen forces at play. These insights encourage us to reflect on our personal experiences. What do they reveal about our own psychological needs and desires? How do our interactions help or hinder our emotional growth? Understanding these dynamics can unravel many complexities of human relationships, guiding us towards more profound and healthy connections.